Hello and welcome to SKR Yoga and Wellness. My name is Sam. Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be doing a half hour flow for full body toning. So this is definitely a powerful yoga class. We're focusing a lot on strength and we're gonna target as many different muscle groups as we can. Starting with the core, working into the shoulders, into the legs, into the glutes. So lots and lots of really great stuff. You don't need any props, just your mat and lots of space. And we're gonna go ahead and get started with one of my absolute favorite core exercises. So you're going to make your way onto your back. These are called dead bugs. So you're going to take your shins, bring them parallel to the floor, and you want your knees to float right over top of your hips so they're not too close to you, not too far away, right over top. And right away you want to feel that your lower back is pressing into the mat here so we don't have any curving or anything happening. We're pressing the lower back deep into the mat and then your arms are just going to float up overhead right on top of your shoulders, shoulder blades flat against the mat. And already here you should feel feel a nice activation, a little bit of burning through the core. What we're going to do from here, we're going to extend opposite arm to leg. So right arm and left leg are going to extend out as far as you can go and then bring them back to center. Same thing, other side, left arm and right leg. <sighs> Exhale to bring them in. Inhale to extend. Exhale, bring them in. So we're always alternating sides. <sighs> you can have some Audible breaths here if that helps. Right arm, left leg extend. Exhale to come in. Other side. Let's go again. Right arm, left leg. And in. And extend. And in. Last time on both sides we have. Inhale out. Exhale in. Try to keep those knees floating right over your hips. And exhale in from here. You can grab the back of your thighs. We're right away gonna roll ourselves up to a boat pose. So keep your hands on the back of your thighs if you need. Try to bring your shins parallel to the floor and feel your spine isn't rounding, that we're nice and long and supported here. Option, if you'd like an extra challenge to add the arms, we're going to tap the toes down and then extend the legs. Tap the toes and extend only five, three, Extend, four, last one, tap, and extend, and then you're gonna place your feet on the floor, sit up nice and tall, right on top of your sit bones, feel your spine long and tall, and then from here you're gonna contract, pull your belly button into your spine, slowly, slowly, slowly roll down, head and shoulders are the last thing to hit your mat, and we repeat that twice more, rolling up, finding that boat pose, balancing right on your sit bones, Feel long through your spine, add the arms if you wish. Here we go with our toe taps. We tap one, extend, two, three, and four. It's a balancing exercise as well. Five, extend and sit all the way up right on top of your sit bones, contract all the way down. Nice and slow and release last time. You got this up. Feel that balance, add the arms if you wish, toe taps, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, extend all the way up, you should feel that core burning as we slowly roll down, very good work, let's just take the arms overhead, take a nice juicy stretch. Wiggling side to side, feeling that length across your abdomen. And then we're gonna roll ourselves back up once again. This time, I'm just gonna reposition myself. You're gonna bring your hands behind you. Fingers are pointing towards your heels. Feet are about underneath your knees. So we're in a nice little tucked position here. And then you're gonna push into your hands, push into your feet to lift your hips up off the floor. So we're in a reverse tabletop position and try to feel as much as you can that you can lift those hips as high as they'll go without letting your knees open wide. So keep your knees in line with your hips. Feel your core activated that we just worked. And from here, we're gonna take the hips back, but don't let them touch the mat. You're sending your weight into your heels, sending the hips back and then rocking forward. Once again, back to that tabletop again. Back, exhale, push, 
Inhale, rock back. Exhale, push. Twice more. Last one, take it back and up. And let's take the hips down onto the mat. Extend your legs out in front of you. Let's keep the feet flexed, sitting up nice and tall through the spine. Let's inhale the arms up. Exhale, find a nice forward fold, grabbing onto the tops of your toes if you can here and trying to lengthen as much as you can through the spine. So we're not rounding here in this position. We're actually trying to find a long line from your tailbone all the way up to the base of your skull. So you might not be able to go down as far as you usually would. Just finding a different sensation to feel your hamstrings and the backs of your legs fully activated. Feel that length through the spine. Shoulders are down away from your ears. And then on a nice big exhale, you can fold forward, relaxing the legs a little bit. Maybe give them a good shake side to side. And we'll slowly roll up back to our seated position. You're gonna keep your left leg extended and keep that foot flexed. You're gonna bend the right knee, take that foot, cross it over the left leg. So we're finding half of a pretzel position here. Take your right hand behind you and you wanna push into that hand so we're growing nice and tall. Inhale the left arm up, exhale, hook the elbow, twist to the back. Really feel that this twist is coming from your navel and not just from your neck. So the twist starts nice and low in the torso and then works its way up. Maybe on each exhale you can twist farther. And we will unwind. You're gonna twist the other way now, turning your foot so that we're facing the back of your mat. It's almost like we're unwinding that corkscrew. Then you're gonna place your back knee on the floor so we're coming to a low lunge. You'll need to reposition your foot slightly so that it's right underneath your knee, 90 degrees here. And then on an inhale, we're gonna add the arms up overhead, biceps right beside the ears. Feel your belly button pulling in strong. And I want you to imagine that you're pinching the mat together underneath you. So there's an activation in your legs and we're not just spilling our weight into the bottom of the lunge here, but we're actually using some muscle activation. This is a powerful class, so we wanna stay nice and activated and strong throughout. And now on an exhale, you can let your right arm fall towards the mat. Left arm is gonna reach up and over, just intensifying this stretch into the front of your left hip flexor. Breathing deep into it. Let's take two more breaths here. And let's circle the arm back forward over that right foot. You're gonna tuck your back toes, lifting that knee, coming up to a long low lunge. And then we're gonna extend, lifting the arms up, up overhead, finding our high lunge. Feel your belly pulling into your spine. Try to straighten that back leg as much as you can without curving through your back. And from here, we're going to drop the knee, just tap it onto the floor, arms swing back, and then inhale, push back up. Exhale. Inhale, push. Exhale down, just lightly tap. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, let's take one more. And from here, bring your hands to a prayer position. You're going to, on an exhale, twist to the right, hook your left elbow on the outside of that right leg and find your prayer twist. Deep breaths. You're trying as best as you can here to get your prayer position of your hands right in between your chest. So fighting for that push. Now to help with balance, let's bring the eyes to the front of the mat, but keep your body as it is. You're gonna step your left foot up to meet the right into a chair twist. So knees now are together. Might feel a nice burning sensation through that right leg. That's what we're going for. And now you're gonna come to center, stay in your chair, and you're gonna widen your legs. Legs come to the outside edges of your mat, bending nice and low, add the arms up overhead. So you're trying to get your upper body almost parallel to the floor. <sighs> Breathing into your belly. 
nice deep squat. This is bear pose. It doesn't take too long to feel that burning through the legs. Take one more big deep belly breath. And let's bring the hands back to prayer. Push to stand nice and strong. Whew, that feels good. Coming with your feet together, let's bring your toes together. Heels about an inch or so apart. And you can keep your hands in prayer or add them up overhead. And then you're going to take your left leg and extend it out in front of you, maintaining a flex through that foot. Now from here, arms open to second. We're floating the left leg back, coming to airplane or warrior three here. Then inhale, push back to where we started. So we're finding a pendulum action with the leg back to warrior three. Inhale, back up. And warrior three, keep breathing. And down to warrior three. I think this is four, we'll say this is our last one. Take it up. And we're gonna come back to warrior three. This time you can just place your fingertips on the floor. And then you're gonna turn out that back leg. So now your knee and toes are pointing to the back wall or the opposite wall. Then you can place your left hand on your hip, twist, and maybe bring your eyes to the side as well. So we're coming into half moon. Option to add the left arm up overhead as well. Adds a little bit more of a challenge for your balance. And if you'd like to take it a step further, you're welcome to stay here, but you can bend into that left leg Grab a hold of your foot and push into your hand. So you're finding a little bit of a quad stretch, also testing your balance. You might feel your right leg start to waver a little bit, having these little micro movements to help keep us stable. I'm bringing my eyes down to the floor to just help with balance a little bit. And from here, a bit of a different transition, you're gonna keep the hold of your foot and you're going to bend your supporting leg. So even if you weren't holding your foot, bending into your supporting leg, just coming into a tuck, like a jazz tuck here. So my right leg, the sole of my right foot is still on the mat. Then I'm stepping up into a pyramid pose. And for this pyramid pose, we're gonna keep both toes pointing towards the top of the mat. And then on an exhale, folding forward. <sighs> Take a couple nice deep breaths. This right leg should really enjoy this stretch after all of that work that we just did. And now coming into a twist, you're gonna place your left palm firmly on the floor, right hand onto your hip. Inhale to grow through the spine. On an exhale, you're gonna to twist towards the right. And then option here to add that right hand, finding revolved triangle here. This really intensifies the stretch through the right leg. Feels really nice for the spine. Also test your balance a little bit. Try to keep both of those hips square, facing forward to the top of your mat. And let's come back to center, release over that chin. You're gonna step your left foot back, finding your lunge, and then stepping into plank. Holding here for three breaths. Push away from the mat, shoulder blades wrapping around your rib cage. And now from here, you're gonna lift your right leg, feel nice and long and strong through that body, through your core, and you're gonna flip onto the outside of your left foot, coming to side plank, keeping that right leg lifted. So lots of core activation. That left leg is super engaged. Feel yourself pushing away from the floor. And now from here, let's take one more breath. We're gonna continue rotating the way we were. So bring that right foot onto the floor behind you, right leg behind you. Coming back to your reverse tabletop, you'll need to walk yourself back onto the mat a little bit. Pushing your hips up and breathe, hold it here. We're gonna repeat all of that on the second side. So you're gonna start from the sways. So taking your hips back, weight into your heels, and then pushing those hips back up to the sky. Exhale, let it go. Inhale, push. 
three, and swing it up, twice more. You might notice as we do this, your right leg feels a little different than your left. Last one to push up and place the hips onto the floor. Release your legs out in front of you. Maybe give them a good shake. Feels good to be seated after all of that hard work, even though we've got to do it again on the left side. Let's inhale the arms up, sitting up nice and tall. Keep those feet flexed, folding forward, grabbing again those toes. Again, finding that nice long spine. And enjoying this moment of, this moment to breathe, this moment of downtime a little bit before we amp it up again. And just like we did on the first side, let's release into a curve, letting it go. And slowly roll yourself back up, letting you see the position. We're gonna keep the right leg flexed this time, right leg extended, bending into that left leg, cross it over the right, sitting up nice and tall through the spine, feel those sit bones on the floor. Place your right, sorry, your left hand behind you, and then you're going to inhale to extend the right. Exhale, twist, hooking that elbow to the outside of your leg and finding your spiral towards the back of your mat. Deep belly breaths. Again, feeling that twist coming from your navel, increasing your spiral with every exhale. And we'll unwind, continue twisting in the opposite direction to bring yourself back around to face this side of your mat, bringing your left foot in between your palms, right knee onto the floor. And gear up the legs, engage to bring the arms all the way up right beside your ears. And just like we did on the first side, feel that you're pinching the mat underneath you so there's an engagement. Your legs are pulling into your midline. Belly button is pulling into your spine. So you activated. And we're gonna let the left hand drop to the mat, lay down on an exhale, reaches up and over. So finding this side body stretch, lengthening into the front of your right hip this time. And then we'll circle the hands back to frame the top of your, your mat, your foot. And then tucking your back toes, coming up to a runner's lunge, and then engage the legs, push your arms up, right up overhead. Right away, feel your core engage. Straighten that back leg as much as you can without arching through the lower back. And we're gonna repeat those knee dips here. So, dropping lightly the knee down to the floor, and then pushing yourself back up, arms up overhead, swing back and forth, push. Lightly drop and push. Two more. Inhale to drop. Exhale to push. Again, inhale to drop. Exhale to push. Coming into prayer twist. Hands in front of your heart. Exhale, twist. Your right elbow will hook to the outside of your left knee. Finding that twist to the back wall. Breathing deep. Again, twisting from your navel. Feel that your back leg is fully engaged. There's energy shooting at your right heel. Hands are making their way to the center of your chest. And let's bring our eyes back down to the mat to help with balance as we step. Ooh. Step the right foot up to meet the left, trying to maintain that twist. Breathing deep. And we'll come back to center. Keep the hips where they are. Step out to the edges of your mat, finding bear pose. So weight is back towards your heels. Body is parallel to the floor. Breathing here, feel long through your spine. And we'll bring the hands to prayer as we push nice and strong to stand. Bring your feet together at the top of your mat. And I'm gonna add my arms up overhead, coming into those pendulum swings. So inhale to extend the right leg in front. Exhale, we're gonna pitch forward, finding warrior three. Inhale up. And 
breathe. Exhale, warrior three, keep that hip and right toe spinning towards the floor. So we stay parallel. Again, inhale up, exhale down. And inhale up, this is our last one. Exhale down. One last push to stand. And then this time we come to our warrior three, but fingertips on the floor. And we're gonna turn out that right leg, right hand to your hip, maybe bringing your eyes and upper body to face the side. Maybe adding your right arm up overhead, finding your half moon pose. And again, if you'd like to progress further, finding a quad stretch, bending into your right leg, grabbing that foot and pushing your foot into your hand to find that stretch. I'm feeling a little more wobbly on this side compared to the other, which is totally okay. You can bring your eyes to the floor to help with balance. And again, just like we did on the first side, bending through both knees, try to keep a hold of that right foot as we curl in to our little jazz tuck here and then stepping up, right foot sends back, finding pyramid pose on the left side. And this should feel really nice. Really just let your body relax, your shoulders, your neck, your spine. You might wanna keep a slight bend through that front knee, keeping it nice and easy. And again, coming into your twist, so right hand will plant, left hand will come to your hip. On an exhale, twisting to the left, maybe adding that arm up overhead. Try to keep your hips square so they don't twist towards the long edge of your mat, but they're square to the front. And the twist, as always, is just coming from your navel, really feeling that twist through the upper spine. Feel your right shoulder plugging away from your ear. Breathing. And we'll make our way back to center coming to your lunge, and then extending your left leg out, finding plank for three breaths. Feel long and strong through that spine, belly button pulls in, shoulders pushing away. And from here, we're lifting the left leg up. Maintain that length, don't let your lower back dip. And then we're coming to the outside of your right foot, side plank, pushing the hips up, and continue spiraling in the direction that we were moving to come to your reversed tabletop. I'm a little out of breath, but that's okay. Pushing your hips up to the sky. One more breath, and we'll release back down onto the mat. Give your legs a really good shake here. We're gonna bend into the knees once again. This time just push your hips forward, coming into a little toe squat. So you're just feeling your toes tucked under your weight, settling back into those heels. Try to stay long through the spine here. After all of that intense balance work, this feels really great for my lower legs and all those extensors reaching into my feet. And we'll take the hands forward, just release those toes I'm just gonna move myself back on the mat a little bit so you can see me a bit better. We're coming into uh, camel pose, which is a back extension. Um, I'll teach this in two stages, so you can choose whether or not you'd like to progress into the full version or not. But regardless, we're all gonna come up onto your knees. Your knees are right underneath your hips, and then you want your spine to go nice and tall away from that hip. Hands on your hips. On an inhale, grow tall, as tall as you can be. And then exhale, just lifting your chest up towards the sky. Almost like a high release here. And then you can stay in this position or if you'd like to progress further, you're gonna reach your hands back, trying to find your heels. And then just like we did in our reverse tabletop, you're gonna push your hips forward. So I'm really squeezing my glutes here, pushing my hips up towards the sky. Your neck can stay long like mine here or you can release it all the way back, whatever feels good to you. Keep pushing for two more breaths. 
And to come out of this full extension, you're gonna bring your hands to your hips first, finding that high release. And then unwind, roll your spine back up to a tall position. And we're gonna send the hips back, toes together, knees apart, finding a nice, relaxing child's pose. Forehead mounts onto the mat. Breathing deep. We'll be here for about 10 breaths. Really focus on your breathing, returning to normal. Your heart rate returning to normal. Feeling sensations through the body after all of that really intense hard work. You can use your hands to help you walk yourself back up to a seated position. I'm going to come into a supported headstand now. Uh, it's one of my favorite ways to finish off a really intense practice like we just did. Quite literally gives you a new perspective, reversing that blood flow as well. You can practice against a wall if you'd like, or if you're not yet uh, at the stage of headstands, you can do legs up the wall, lying on your back, or you can take a block, placing it right under your hips in a supported bridge pose. So any of those are definitely options that you can utilize. Otherwise, we're going to progress. So I'm gonna use the basket variation. So interlacing my fingers, coming to this nice basket for my head. And you can kind of take this at your own pace. You don't necessarily have to follow me exactly. Just make sure you really stack your hips on top of your head before we lift on up. Coming to whatever variation works best for you. Make sure you're breathing. It can be really easy in an intense inversion to hold your breath. Return to that nice, easy child's pose. Reset your breath. And we'll roll ourselves back up. Swing your legs forward. Give them a nice good shake. You're gonna take your right leg, bring it into the inside of your left thigh, keeping your left leg flexed. And then from here, on an inhale, growing up nice and tall, Exhale, you're gonna fold forward. Again, trying to maintain that long spine like we had at the beginning of class when we had both legs forward. So the benefit of bending one knee, you might feel a little bit more of a stretch through your lower back, or you might feel a little bit more of an intense stretch through the hamstrings in the back of the leg. It's a little bit different for everybody. Most importantly though, wherever you're at in this pose, Try to feel that your spine is nice and long, especially in the lower back. It's really hard to intuitively feel it out, but do the best you can. And once again, we'll allow the spine to curve forward in opposition to that straight spine. And then walk yourself up. Nice and easy. Right away, going to the next side. So extending the right leg. Bend the right foot in to your inner thigh. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, pitch forward with a straight spine, grabbing whatever you can here. Feel long through that back. Breathing deep. And just like we did on the first side, we'll release forward. Just for a moment before we walk ourselves up. And I'm going to make my way all the way onto my back. 
into Shavasana for today. Just to give my hips a little bit of an extra release, I'm coming to a butterfly pose. So soles of the feet together, hips out, or sorry, knees out. Uh, you're welcome to join me here, or if you just want to lie on down with your legs straight, you can do that as well. I'm going to take about 10 breaths here. Try to focus in on any sensations that you feel throughout the body. Maybe you feel a little bit of buzzing through the legs or through the core. You do a lot of very intense strength building in these areas. Maybe you feel elongated through the spine. Maybe across the shoulder blades. Just make notes for yourself. Check in with how you're feeling. Before we go, I'll also just take a moment to thank ourselves for stepping onto the mat today. Send gratitude for your practice. This is where I will leave you, but you're welcome to stay in Shavasana for another couple minutes or so. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe before you go. I release new videos every Friday. Hopefully I'll see you on the mat again very soon.